It was open to um, all ages, all experiences. Uh, you just had to have a desire and a thirst for poetry. I think a lot of people have just enjoyed coming out, just reading, and, and, and finding new poems, finding new writers. Poetry Voices is a brand new pilot project that was set up by Warwickshire Libraries and supported by Arts Council England. The project was designed to encourage and promote the reading, reciting and performance of poetry. And over the course of the project, we provided children, young people and adults living in Warwickshire with the opportunity to take part in a brand new activity in their local library where they could come together, meet new people, further develop their knowledge and understanding of poetry, develop new performance skills and of course the confidence to then perform and share classic and contemporary poetry with other people. This has been all about the performance of poetry rather than just the writing, getting people to enthuse about poetry um, wherever they are, whoever they are um, and of course bringing them into libraries because that's very important. There's lots of resources around poetry there that they can enjoy. We've had quite a range of events across a number of our libraries. We were particularly fortunate to be able to link into the Rugby Festival of Culture, um, Stratford Poetry Festival, and also um, to celebrate uh, National Poetry Day back at the beginning of October with a celebration in Warwick Library when we brought in some of the groups from around the county who all performed. One of these was a group of local guides who'd had a, um, a workshop series. So we're really drawing in all ages to this uh, wonderful celebration of poetry performance. This project was set up to explore ways in which local people could develop or continue to develop a relationship with their local library through poetry activity, whilst also contributing to the growth of Warwickshire's poetry culture. To deliver the activity, we appointed two performers in residence, a poet called Roy McFarlane and a theatre maker called Georgina Biggs. Some people have come saying, you know, all I've done is read poetry in my bedroom. Other people say I'm part of a regular group where I go and perform it. Um, so it's been a whole range of people getting involved really. Confidence levels have increased. We've had like a group of young girls here performing today who have probably never read poetry in that way in front of an audience before, you know, and I noticed one girl had completely learnt it by heart. So they've pushed themselves, you know. Confidence, you see that from, from how they are when they start to actually standing in front of an audience and, and reading a poem or performing. You have individuals who've gone away and started to write their own collection of poems. So, um, I'm, I'm, you know, I know there's a couple who've started to either create their collection and looking to get them published or even just having somebody to look at them or they've actually gone to a, a open mic performance and performed on the mic which is absolutely awesome. If you have any sort of um, already formed thoughts or predispositions towards poetry I'd say forget about them and just go to a session because it may be what you think and it may be the complete opposite. But regardless, I really think you'll enjoy it and my recommendation would be to go with as much enthusiasm as possible.